Hello all, welcome back. In the previous videos, we have seen about the passive elements which are resistor, inductor and capacitor. And we know that a resistor is the energy dissipating element whereas inductor and capacitor, these two are the energy storing devices. So these two can be act as virtual sources. So inductor stores the energy in the form of magnetic field whereas this capacitor stores the energy in the form of static energy. I mean electrostatic field okay so uh, these three elements are very very important because these three are the basic elements in each and every network or circuit so for that purpose i have given here i am showing here one more uh, important table this table is very very important uh, for doing the problems as well as in the exam point of view uh, this table is voltage and current relationships among the uh, I mean between these RLC passive elements. So you can see uh, this table. You uh, must notice all the formula. Mo most of the formulas have been written here. So using uh, by remembering uh, this table, uh, you can able to answer uh, any of the question or uh, which are related to these uh, passive element. Similarly, you can able to solve the problems also. Right. In the coming to the table description, you can see in the first column I have considered the element. We have three elements: resistor, inductor, and capacitor. So three elements are uh, listed in the first column. In the second column, uh, second column gives us the basic relationship. So this is the basic formula how on uh, how we can calculate the resistance value generally, or how we can calculate the inductance value and the capacitance value. And this basic relation is also uh, one of the key parameter between uh, two different sides which means let us consider inductor inductor is electromagnetic uh, uh, device electromagnetic means here we are dealing with the two parts two sides one is electrical side and second one is magnetic side so this relation will tells you the relationship between electrical and magnetic side with the bridge of inductor similarly in the capacitance also uh, this is electrostatic electrostatic device so electrostatic means electrical as well as static electricity so c will be the bridge uh, between electrical and uh, electrostatic so uh, both sides will be connected by the capacitor so uh, that is nothing but basic relationship so this is represented in the second column a third column voltage across each and every element simply voltage formula and the fourth column is current formula Okay, and the fifth column energy. If you want, you can also add one more column uh, that is uh, energy. You can add one more column here energy, a type of energy, type of energy. I mean, uh, whether it is stored or dissipated. So, type of energy you can add. And if you want, you can add one more column. Uh, this column is for power. I mean, uh, you can also calculate power. In the respective elements we already know the basic formula to calculate the power uh, so uh, using those we can get these two columns also right first resistor so the basic relationship is uh, v by i actually this resistor can be calculated with the help of ohm's law from ohm's law only it has been raised uh, which is v is directly proportional to i so this is the relationship basic relationship for the resistor and voltage across the resistor v is equal to i into r already we know it so v is equal to i into r similarly if you want to current uh, then uh, you can uh, bring out the resistor here like this and the current like this you will get i is equal to v by r so this is how you can get the current and energy we already know uh, generally simply i will write the simple equation uh, energy is nothing but power into time so we already know the value of power which is uh, v into i i am also writing here uh, power is nothing but the product of voltage into current here the voltage we know v the current is i so the power is nothing but v into i whereas the energy energy is nothing but uh, in the basic definitions video we have seen uh, these basic formulas and definitions power into time energy is power into time so we know power is v into i and th time is t so the energy can be calculated 
v into i into t or we can also write this like this which is i square r into t i square r into t how this i square r into t came uh, came here is we know v v is i r in i i into r right so in the place of v you can substitute and you will get i square r t so this is how you can get the energy equation so similarly for the inductor inductor gives the relationship between electrical and magnetic side so you can see l is equal to n phi by i phi is the magnetic flux so this is the magnetic uh, energy parameter and n is the number of turns of the inductor i is the current this is electrical parameter so uh, l will be acting as bridge between magnetic uh, side and electric side so this is the basic relationship uh, between uh, electrical and magnetic with uh, inductor as a bridge and you we already know v is equal to l into di by dt and i if you want i you can integrate on both sides and you will get i is equal to 1 by l integral v into dt and we can calculate the uh, uh, energy formula also which is half into l i square and uh, here uh, sorry in the resistor i forgot here the resistor dissipates the energy in the form of heat we already know this whereas in the inductor the energy stored in the form of um, magnetic field sorry magnetic field okay in the similar way capacitor capacitor is also one of the storing energy energy storing device and the basic relationship here is capacitor c is equal to q by v q is a static charge q is a static charge representation v is voltage so static charge is one side voltage is electrical side so c will be acting as a bridge between q i mean uh, static electrostatic uh, side and electric side so we can express a simple relation with c as bridge between these two sides and we can also get the voltage across the capacitor v is equal to 1 by c integral ic dt this is also we have seen in the previous video how we got this and this is the basic relationship for the current c uh, current through the capacitor is equal to c into dv by dt and also this energy equation also we have seen which is half into c v square and this energy will be stored as electrostatic energy electrostatic fields electrostatic energy okay so this is about the voltage and current relationship table for the passive elements thank you